Hey, Neil Smith here with U.S. Captain's Training. We are looking at the solution to Amplitude Practice Problem 5. This is a phenomenal example of the intricacies involved in finding GMT. If you check out the math, you'll notice that it's, first, there's ambiguity in the chronometer. We're on the other side, so we're kind of the PM side of the chronometer, and our longitude is way east, which means we add nine hours, which brings us into the next day. So our math says... 30 hours and we know there's not 30 hours in a day so you have to subtract 24 which gets you to 6 a.m on february 10th which means gmt was the previous day on the 9th and just really think about finding gmt in this problem it'll take you a long ways be super patient at the beginning of this problem. Think about it a lot, and it will really help you along your way. Let's get started. All right, let's calculate compass deviation using the amplitude of the sun method. This is practice problem five. Here we are. Um, problem five and there's some information given we need to record that so let's re record everything given in the problem right here and when we start it says it gives us the date right off the bat date 5th of february 10 february 10th all these problems take place in 1981 the DR position. So we get our DR position. That is 2532. Lat is 25 degrees 32 minutes north. Longitude is 135 degrees 15 minutes east. 15 minutes east. And you observe an amplitude of the sun. The sun centers on the celestial horizon and bears 109 PSC. So sun bearing, sun bearing is 109 PSC, 109 degrees PSC. And then it gives us the chronometer, chronometer reads 943.25, cron time, cron time is equal to 943.25, 943.25 hours, minutes, seconds, and it gives us the cron error right after that. And that error is 3 minutes, 20 seconds fast. 3 minutes, 20 seconds, and it's fast. So we need to subtract it to get it back on track. Variation in the area is 4.5 west. Variation is equal to 4.5 degrees west. And then it asks the question, what is the deviation of the standard magnetic compass? So what we are looking for is deviation. What is that? First thing we do is we need to find the um, GMT. This allows us to get into our nautical almanac and find declination. So our GMT is going to be the cron time, 943.25. So 943.25, so hours, minutes, seconds, and then we'll put the error, 3 minutes, 20 seconds, 3 minutes, 20 seconds, and now we'll know if we add or subtract because this is fast. So we subtract. So we subtract 25 minus 20 is 5. Let's bump it down one. Keep it clean. 5 seconds. 43 minus 3 is 40 minutes. So 9 hours, 40 minutes five seconds now the chronometer is interesting because it's only 12 hours but there's 24 hours in a day so it goes around twice 
So there's ambiguity, it's called. Uh, if we add 12 hours to this, we're looking at 21.40.05 hours, minutes, seconds. We got to figure out where we are, like which one of these times are we talking about here? So the way we do that is we take the longitude which is 135 east and divided by 15 because there's 15 degrees in a time zone. So we take 135 degrees east divided by 15 and we get, what do we get? 135 divided by 15 equals nine hours. So we get nine hours. But are we, so it's east. This is going to tell us if we add or subtract. I like to draw a small diagram, right? These are time zones. And if you go over to the east, you add. If you go to the west, you subtract. You think I'm in New York, I'm going west to California. It's, it's earlier in California. So we are east. We are going to add this nine hours. So if we add nine hours, if we add nine hours to these, what happens? So this one is 18 hours, 40.05, and this is 30 hours, 40.05. You can't have 30, right? So if you take 24 out of here, you get to 6 hours. This is your approximate local, local time. Which one? How do we know? These are local mean times, right? Approximate local means because we didn't account for the minutes. So this is the p.m. and this is the a.m. a day before, a day after. Okay, we'll figure out the day too. This is actually the most complicated part of the problem. What day is it? What time is it? What day is it? So the sun, the bearing of the sun we saw was 109. That's in the east, which means it's rising, which means we are in the a.m. So this is in the a.m. This is the one we're, we're using. This is going to be our GMT, right? So GMT is equal to 21 hours. 40 minutes, 5 seconds. Now, when we added 9 hours, we went forward a day. So this was our local mean time, and it was the 10th. So this time here was taken actually on the 9th, Feb 9th. Okay, so this allows us now to get declination from the nautical almanac. So declination, we're going to get declination, and we're going to get the D value and the D correction. And we're going to put them here, and then we'll convert the minutes to degrees. So nautical almanac for February 9th. February 9th, Feb 9th, for 21 hours. Feb 9, 21 hours. February 9th, 9th hours, 21. South 14, 29.1, and falling. So south, 1429.1 and falling. South, 1429.1 and falling. I'm going to double check that because you can't really be too. There's a lot of ways to get these problems wrong. South, 1429.1. Good. Degrees, minutes, and the D value. We know it's falling. We can get it from here. 
is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. And now we need to apply a correction here. So we go to the increments and corrections for 40 minutes. 40 minutes because that was our GMT. Here we are for 40 minutes and we're D values and our D value is 08, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and we are subtracting this so let's subtract that 29.1 29.1 minus 0.5 equals 28.6 28.6 minutes so south 14 degrees 28.6 minutes we need to take this these minutes divide them by 60, and turn them into degrees. So what's going to happen is our declination is going to equal south 14 point whatever this is. 28.6 divided by 60 equals 28.6 equals 0 0.48. 0 0.48. These are degrees. So here's our declination. Now we're going to take our latitude and turn it into only degrees. So our latitude equals, it's up here, latitude 2532 north. 25 degrees, 32 minutes north. And so we take this 32, divide it by 60, and now we get our latitude equal to 25 point what? 32 divided by 60 equals 0 0.53, 0 0.53 degrees, and this is north. Good. Now we have our latitude. With these two values, we can put this into our formula, which is the sine of the amplitude is equal to the sine of the declination divided by the cosine of the latitude. So let's start plugging these in. Sine declination equals sine dec 14.48, sine of 14.48 divided by the cosine of the latitude, 25.53, 25.53. And so these equal, let's, Sine 14.48, sine 14.48 equals, we'll take these out to five decimal points, 0 0.25004, 0 0.25004. And now we'll do cosine of 25.53, cosine 25.53 equals 0 0.90236, 0 0.90236, 90236, good. And now we're going to do that division, 0 0.25004 divided by 0 0.90236 equals, equals 0 0.277, one two seven seven one and so this is the sine amplitude equals this we need to take this sign put the sine inverse over here so we're going to say amplitude is equal to the sine to negative one so the sine inverse zero point two seven seven one and we'll do that math here and we'll say so now the amplitude this is going to come out in quadrantal notation so we go second sine inverse point two seven seven one equals sixteen point one so we'll say sixteen point one degrees we have to name this thing so we name it east or west here that comes from 
here. The sun was bearing 09, so we were east. We were rising, so we'll name it east. And then we name it north or south here based on our declination. Our declination was south. All right, and so now we can figure out, we need to figure out our degrees from north. These are degrees south of east. So I just like to graph this thing out, say north, south, east, and west. So now we went east first, we went this way, and we went south, 16 degrees. So we're down here, 16 degrees. So we can say these 90 degrees plus these 16 degrees. So now our amplitude from north is equal to 90 degrees plus 16.1 degrees. So that equals 90 plus 16.1 equals 106.1. 106.1. Point one degrees true from north. So now we can go ahead and go, t we can correct the compass and calculate deviation true T V M D C. When we're going down, we add west, so we'd minus east. So true 106.1 degrees true. Variation was given, it was 4.5 west. 4.5 degrees west. We need to add that because we're going down. So we already have 106.1 plus 4.5 equals 110.6. 110.6. And now, um, deviation of what we're calculating, the compass was given here, the sun bearing 109. 109.0 degrees PSC. Now we went, we're going down, so we're going to name this thing east. See this from 10 to 9, it's got to be east. So 110.6 minus 109, is, we'll get the difference. 1.6, 1 1.6 1 .6 degrees east is what we calculated. Let's check it out. There we are in A. So the answer to practice problem five, when we're calculating the deviation based on the amplitude of the sun, is 1.6 east A.